Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm um, doing a VSLA log here today. Um, this one is going to be um, a bunch of different stuff, I guess. But, uh, you know, if I sound tired, it's because I had a long day yesterday. Um, I ended up driving 400 miles round trip um, to the New Hampshire, not New Hampshire, but the New England uh, Reptile Expo in New Hampshire. Um, it was uh, very, very fun. Uh, it was a really good time. I went with my dad. Um, I will give you guys some more updates about that soon uh, and later in the video. But, um, you know, I also uh, took the time when I got home to do some photos of the super blood red moon that we had. Um, I'll go ahead and put that up. It uh, it was fun, but it was you know it was cold and I was tired and uh, I, I pushed myself a little too far, um, especially since I had some work to do once I got home. But um, you know, uh, I kind of wish the last image had come out a little bit better. It was dim. It was um, you know kind of just a little hard for me to get a good image of that. Um, Mostly my, my camera uh, has some limitations. It's a good camera, but it's not even a DSLR or anything like that. And, um, you know, I, I'm pretty familiar with what it can and can't do, and it just had had a little bit of trouble with that. So uh, hopefully, um, you know, someday I'm going to get a better camera. But um, I, I had the money to. I actually consciously decided to uh, build these arcade cabinets instead. So that was a, that was a choice that I made, and um, that's how that is. So... Um, I would like to ask you guys uh, another question. Um, this is, I guess, going to be a poll. Um, you know, again, like I said, I'm not looking at you guys as my customers or anything like that. But um, you know, I do think that some of these uh, products that I'm offering, like the um, the clear archival quality, um, you know, plastic cases for uh, video game manuals, um, is you know something that you guys, uh, you know, even if you're not interested in, I think. Um, you know, would, would have some input into as to, you know, what uh, you guys think are, are good uh, ideas or not. So um, now that I've made those, I have actually sized out a whole bunch of other um, protective bags that I would like to be able to offer. Uh, ideally, I would just, you know, manufacture all of these and they'd all be available, you know, on eBay or on my upcoming site. But um, I think it makes more sense to, um, you know, just prioritize and uh, focus on rolling out a few of those at a time. So in an effort to do that, uh, I'd like to know what do you guys think would be good, um, you know, both manual bags and, um, you know, sort of ba protective bags for video game cases um, that I might offer in the near future. Uh, I'm going to read through those. If you guys want to, like, skip ahead or, you know, you just want to reference back again, I'm going to have that whole list in the description so you guys can, uh, can check that out again. But um, let me just go over these briefly. For starters, I'm going to talk about um, protective bags for the video game cases themselves. These are really great because they act just like the um, plastic wrap that's around a game when you buy it new. Uh, it really protects the quality of the case. Um, so we're talking um, ones specifically for PS3, PS4, and Blu-ray sized um, you know, games and uh, um, videos. Uh, I have these sized out. It's going to be really nice because the DVD sized bags do... Um, you know, fit those, but when you put them in, you know, you fold it over, it ends up with this annoying crease at the top because they're too tall. So these ones are going to be the, the just the right size for those. Um, that's one that I can offer. Um, also bags for Vita cases, uh, for PSP cases, for the big box PCFX cases, um, normal CD size PCFX cases can use CD uh, bags, and I'm going to be offering those shortly. Um, uh, Atari cartridges. That's going to be, you know, the the 2600, the 7800. Um, those I think are a really great uh, idea. You know, I have a whole 7800 collection, and I'm like, oh yeah, it'd be just nice to, you know, have those protected. The the uh, the labels and you know keep dust out of them, etc. Um, also, Vectrex carts. I do have access to some Vectrex carts, and I'm I'm still in the process of sizing those out, but that is a uh, and also a possibility. Um, and now that I think of it, honestly, I haven't been sizing out um, carts for, like, the Super Nintendo or um, the Genesis. But if you guys are interested in those, let me know. Um, next up, we have manual bags. So uh, quite a few options on those. Um, the P uh, PlayStation long box manuals. Um, that's going to be for, the like, the opaque long boxes, because um, those have room for those bags. They fit in there really nicely. Unfortunately, the ones that are, like, jewel case style, like the Sega CD and the Saturn and the, the PlayStation uh, jewel case style uh, big boxes, um, I can maybe make them, but they don't fit in there well. It's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, 
So there's those. Um, NES. Uh, I'm going to have some other NES um, manual bags coming up, so the, the, this is uh, separate from that. Um, there are some large, full-size NES manuals. It's um, the kind of thing that right now I've got some wizardry games that come with them. They fill the whole size of the box. Um, that's not the standard NES size manual, but I can make uh, manual bags for those. Um, Super Nintendo manuals, just the standard sized manuals, I can make those. Um, ones that will fit the standard sized uh, Genesis and 32X manuals. Um, ones that will fit uh, Electronic Arts had particular sized manuals that they used for their Genesis games, I can make bags for those. Um, the Super Famicom, the Japanese, you know, uh, system. Um, I've identified two sizes of those so far, a long manual and a short manual. The long manual fits over top of the cartridges uh, in a, a space in the tray that's sort of uh, looks like it's specifically made for the manuals, um, but there are some short style manuals that actually fit inside the tray underneath the game, and uh, I can make bags for both of those or either. Um, the Nintendo DS uh, the Nintendo 3DS, um, which they seem to have slightly different uh, sized manuals for those two systems. Um, the N64, standard sized manuals for those. Um, the uh, Game Boy Advance, standard sized manual for those. Um, Vita manuals, PSP manuals, um, Sega Master System manuals. The, um, I guess this uh, didn't get next to the Genesis ones, but also a Genesis uh, full-sized manual. Um, there are some Genesis games like Star Control that have a manual that fills the box. It's a cardboard box, and it's just the size of the whole box. Uh, I can make uh, bags for those. Uh, the PCFX manuals, the big box style. Um, the normal ones are going to be CD uh, size, like I said, so those are, don't really um, lend themselves well to manual bags, but the uh, large size do. And uh, Vectrex overlays. Um, Vectrex overlays uh, typically come in a um, like a paper sleeve, uh, so they are protected somewhat. But if you want to, you know, kind of protect that whole thing, preserve those paper sleeves because you know it's paper and it's going to uh, degrade over time. Um, I can offer those as well. Now, um, yeah, I guess that's the, the the full range of things that I've sized so far. Again, if you guys can think of anything else, uh, definitely let me know, and um, you know, just put in the description. Uh, the ones you'd be interested in, or um, you know, sort them in order of preference. You know, just let me know, um, you know, how and how you're responding. Um, but I'd love to hear, you know, what kind of uh, manual bags and case bags you guys might be interested in in the future. It will really help me to prioritize uh, which uh, bags I go ahead and, and get produced here for your, for uh, you know for sale. Um, so yeah, so moving on to the uh, reptile show. Uh, like I said, I had a really good time. It was a long trip, so it was a little tiring, but. Um, you know, we, uh, I got to look at all, all kinds of stuff, um, and it was just so much fun. I went with my dad, and, um, you know, it's, it's been fun. We, you know, we try to get together, especially kind of during the summer and early fall here, just, um, you know, spend a little time together, uh, do go camping, hiking, or, you know, go do some touristy stuff. And, uh, so I asked him to come along, um, uh, on, on this trip with me. And, um, you know, I, I had so much fun, like, just, kind of seeing these animals and, and getting to, to hold them, too. I mean, there's just something about um, that physical interaction, uh, especially with these, um, you know, sometimes unique, uh, even exotic animals that's, uh, that's really um, exciting. I, I got to play with some baby corn snakes, which was really cool. I'm, you know, looking at getting a corn snake, so that, uh, that was, uh, was great. Um, I also got to hold a ball python. Um, very, very cool, uh, just so cute, you know, um, the ball pythons, it's not really the kind of snake that I want to get, but, um, I, I may at some point, because, uh, you know, just getting to hold one, having them kind of curl around your fingers, or just sort of, you know, it's, it's a real living thing, and it's, uh, they're different from mammals, because, um, they tend to move more slowly, honestly, um, they also are um, a little cool to the touch, you know, because they, they, they're not making, they're not generating their own heat. So, um, you know, when they're in your hand, they're going to be drawing a little bit of the heat from your hand, so they feel a little bit cool. Um, you know, they're, they're, they move, you know, they breathe, they're, 
um, you know, they have musculature to them, and, and they, you know, they'll kind of grip on or, like, move around, and they're just, um, it's fascinating to, to hold these things. Um, so, I mean, that little ball python that I held, it just, it melted my heart. It was the cutest thing. It was, you know, so not aggressive, just really curious, really adorable. Um, I also got a chance to hold a blue tongue skink, which um, is not the kind of thing that I've really been interested in so far. But um, you know, I, I've I've taken note of them, and getting to hold one actually was um, an experience that made me um, just kind of fall in love with them a little bit more than I was expecting. It's uh, you know, again, another very fascinating animal, just really really cute. Um, you know, it has this awesome blue tongue that it it sticks out sort of the same way that uh, that snakes do, just to kind of um, you know smell the air and feel around. And um, it was it was neat. At, at one point. What really got me as I was holding it, and it was really chill, but it um you know moved a little bit and it and it gripped onto my hand, and I was surprised its little arms and legs they were a lot stronger than I was expecting it had this this nice uh you know not painful by any means, but this this firm grip it just sort of gripped on and um and it was just kind of hanging out and i just I thought that was so cool it was just very interesting um so uh so anyway um you know, in the end, I'm looking for a very particular um, color phase of corn snake. It's a Miami phase. They're uh, naturally occurring. They're endemic to, um, you know, to Miami, kind of the, the coast uh, area there. And um, they, uh, I, I wasn't able to find any at the expo. Now, I very seriously considered, you know, if I wanted any, any of the kind of corn snakes or any other snakes. I really like hog, hog nose snakes. They're so cute. Um, I, there, I think their behavior is really cool. They're just wonderful little uh, snakes. But I just have my heart set on a corn snake, and particularly this Miami phase. So um, I decided to order one online. I'm still in the process of doing that, um, but you know, I I uh, I still got a couple things at the expo. I got a, a stick um, for my uh, reptile terrarium uh, enclosure and uh, I also picked up a uh, heat regulator for the heat pads so it'll um you know cuz when you just plug those heat pads in they get up to a certain temperature and it's a little hot it's like uh maybe in the 115 degree range something like that um and it's going to be a little too hot for my corn snake if it actually kind of burrows down and, and touches the glass right near where that's contacting so um this will let me turn it down to like 95 or something like that and you know i can just sort of monitor the heat but um you know i, I just don't want it to hurt itself so that'll be very um very uh, useful and um yeah so we're still really excited about that but unfortunately i wasn't able to find the exact snake that i was looking for yesterday but still it was a really good time so um i just wanted to share that with you guys and um you know i hope you'll go ahead and let me know um what your most wanted uh, manual bags or um you know protective uh, game case bags would be uh and thank you again for joining me for um you know my anime and video game related videos and apparently uh, snake <laughs> related videos here um uh, thanks for watching